10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6. Hello, and welcome to Rocket Fuel, your daily update of everything that's happening in the Rocket Pool community. My name is Wack. Today is November 1st, and we've got a quick episode for you all today. So we're going to start here with this event that we have upcoming, which is an AMA with Nethermind. So this is on Friday at noon Eastern time, and it says um, tune into this AMA to join Mav as he hosts Nethermind to chat about their recent tokenomics post on the governance forum. So when I saw this event that was coming up this week, I realized that I never actually covered the original post of this um like linking this event so i figured today was a good time to go and have a look at that and let you all know what that post includes so you can kind of be ready for when the call happens on friday so here's the title of the post this is linking rpl demand to tvl improving node operator collateralization and incentives so never mind here start by saying rocket has witnessed remarkable growth since propeller upgrade however despite the rise in node operators the price of rpl and the quantity of staked rpl tokens have not increased as much as expected several factors can influence the price of rpl token such as speculation in trader positions but these are difficult to model and predict and an abstract of this is like one predictable and measurable source of long-term demand from RPL arises from node operators who create pools and post collateral. Our on-chain data analysis shows a decrease in the average collateral ratios despite the transition from 16 ETH mini pools to 8 ETH pools. We noticed that the return node operators get on their RPL has become very close to the return um, generator on their bond. As a result, node operators are incentivized to post the minimum collateral ratio and spin off new mini pools instead of holding high collateral ratios or re-collateralizing their existing mini pools. Furthermore, our investigation has uncovered a negative correlation between total value locked, TVL, and the demand for RPL. Consequently, this is likely to become more pronounced as the number of mini pools grows. So all are already there's like some really um interesting piece of information that are coming out of that um they're saying uh, the motivation motivation for this is several promising proposals have emerged in the governance forums to address the issue however accurately assessing their impact on rpl tokenomics and node operated behavior is challenging without the use of multi-agent simulations to thoroughly evaluate and explore these proposals we seek funding to develop um, multi-agent simulations and um, quantitative analysis tools. These simulations will not only facilitate the assessment of the proposed improvements, but also provide a valuable resource for evaluating future protocol changes and community proposals. We are confident that this project has the potential to bring substantial value to the Rocket Pool community. So I guess they're kind of asking for some money that um, might, you know, ask for a grant or something like that to build this. So never mind, of course, are one of the um, core teams on the develop and execution layer client uh, like geth or bisu um, and then they've got um, information about like the block uh, chain core engineering and then they also have a uh, protocol enterprise engineering and then uh, other research that they do as well and uh, data so here you get to the actual paper itself the the work that they're they're suggesting and proposing that they want to do so here there's the aim current tokenomics impact of the atlas upgrade node operator profitability rpl collateral versus new mini pools the node operators dilemma consequences to rpl demand collateral at pool inception risk aversion and collateral ratio the marginal return of re-collateralization and game theory and collateral ratios and next steps so all these sections you know there's quite a lot of information here so we'll just go over it quite quickly but the aim is to design and develop a multi-agent simulation engine so our proposal suggests creating a multi-agent simulation engine to improve decision making in the governance forum this simulation engine will model node operators collateralization behavior and provide insights into how proposals may impact the network by considering factors like pool numbers and collateral amounts so then there's analysis of selected proposals and then the current tokenomics they talk about 
um, how it says the demand for RPL tokens in the current tokenomics, um, in the current Rocket tokenomics, primarily stems from two sources. One is node operators who stake RPL collateral, and two is trading demand from investors speculating on Rocket Pool's growth. So it says trading demand is highly volatile and challenging to predict, especially considering that RPL tokens do not generate income for non node operators. Consequently, the most crucial factor uh, driving RPL tokenomics is the amount of RPL held by node operators. And of course, um, more than half of that is now staked that's my addition um so then they've got like some information here and some charts and this one um about the price of uh, the rpl token compared to the amount of um validators that uh, rocket pool has online so they i think they're trying to show like some kind of inverse relationship here um and as the mini pool price uh, amount goes up the prices come down but i don't know how much of that you can attribute to bear market functionality or like some kind of um some kind of like inverse relationship here and then they say since Chappelle the number of RPL staked has only increased by 20% while the number of mini pools doubled as you can see the link between TVL growth and RPL demand is not straightforward and that's something that should be corrected so I guess they've got some ideas of how that could be corrected then there's a section on the impact of the Atlas upgrade and how that has put, uh, come together then there's uh, some data on node operator profitability and how there's ETH staking information and RPL incentives and what can happen from that it says the return on investment ROI for ethereum depends solely on staking yield leveraging um leverage and commission rate on the other hand the ROI for rocket pool has a different dynamic since the inflation rate and percentage of printed tokens given to node operators are fixed with the introduction of new mini pools there's an increase in the proportion of RPL tokens being staked resulting in a decline in RPL's return on investment this diminishes a uh, diminishing ROI makes it less appealing for node operators to allocate collateral collateral as the protocol expands consequently this situation heightens the security risk associated with the protocol so then there's more information here as well about the rpl collateral versus new mini pools the node operators dilemma and this as an aside i want to say that the upcoming um tokenomics vote that will be happening um maybe within the next couple of weeks probably um this is one of the things that they want to address and they want to heavily incentivize new uh, mini pools um by kind of pushing node operators to have a lower collateral amount because that's where they'll get the most rewards but anyway there you can read the section that says as highlighted above node operators must consistently choose between increasing the rpl collateral and the rpl rewards and creating new pools so let's try to understand what would drive them to choose one versus the other and then there's information about the different um ETH ROI and RPL ROI and um, optimizing node operator returns and then this says consequences to RPL demand this section here as well showing um, how the um, return investment has changed over time and then the sections about game theory and collateral ratios and um, a lot more data here as well so in the next steps they say we appreciate community feedback regarding our report so i guess that's how what's happening on friday as well is they want people to kind of like read the report and uh, ask questions and kind of like develop um, a more robust report and since depending on the community's appetite we will apply for a grant from the DAO via the next grant round to achieve the objectives seen below so they've got some objectives these are the objectives right here design and development of multi-agent simulation engine and analysis of selected proposals so um, that's the kind of stuff that they want to do um, Val of course has um, feedback and it says the optimizing node operator returns has a false premise built in in particular it treats ETH and RPL um, investments as separate the reality is that boosted ETH ROI isn't available without the RPL investment so it doesn't make sense to separate them that way and then he goes on to give information like an exaggerated way of how the um, RPL token unlocks the ETH um, uh, returns is to have a blurb i post regularly um that shows the best uh, bo shows both the overall investment perspective um ignoring rpl rewards unfortunately and the eth and rpl separate perspective and here i think the overall take uh, is being overlooked so here's the the uh, data from val and then he goes on to give some more information as well a kind of rebutting um, rebutting and kind of explaining different points so the netherman guys were like thank you for your comments and they kind of responded and then there's not too many other comments here so if you are interested in this information from nethermind go and give this report a read uh, before their um, ama with mav on friday afternoon because i think there's going to be um some really good the scope for some really good questions during that during that call so definitely check that out 
Okay, next we have an update on the Y ETH vote where there's a vote to add our ETH to their basket of tokens. Um, yesterday, no, a couple of days ago, we talked about how MEV protocols, MEV ETH, um, have started incentivizing their um, inclusion into this. Um, and of course, the R ETH, um, you know, the Rocket Pool um, IMC or anyone else has not incentivized it. So you can see that um, the MEV uh, protocols, MEV ETH now has um, overtaken our ETH by a very significant margin. Um, it's gone up to 65% um, of the vote, whereas um, our ETH is at like 31% of the vote now. So um, that, that incentive has definitely led them to take a huge lead. This vote is going to be finishing in a matter of hours. So... Um, I, I, I don't think it's very likely at all that um, our ETH is going to go ahead over here. So, you know, the person who um, paid one ETH to get uh, our ETH included on this list, um, thank you for <laughs> burning your ETH. But um, yeah, it looks like they're going to go forward. The, the community is going to go forward with their MEV ETH instead of our ETH um, because we didn't pay them $50,000 in incentives. So, yeah. Okay. Next, we have news of Meetup, another one that had happened in Australia this week. So here we have um, Adam Dawson saying, um, Rocket Pool in real life, great catching up with and sharing tales of airdrops, DeFi fails and staking adventures with Aliask. Um, perhaps the inaugural meeting of the Melbourne Rocket Pool Club. We're thinking it could be the Melbourne operators of Rocket Pool and other nodes, aka morons, but uh, keeping an open mind. So here, you know, there was um, a couple of people from the Rocket Pool community who had a meetup, um, and I'm always happy to share news of these meetups. Um, funnily enough, I might be in Melbourne in one month's time, um, so maybe the morons uh, might be willing to um, meet up um, and uh, have a little Rocket Pool gathering in, in Melbourne. Um, that would be really nice because that's where I'm going to be, uh, potentially. No, it's not guaranteed yet, but um, I'll, I'll let you all know if I'm going to be there and maybe I'll reach out to Adam and um, Ali Ask and see if we can schedule something because I think that would be really great. Okay, next, of course, we have, um, it's the first of the month. So today is when I have my raffle for Rocket Pool node operators who submit content to um, Rocket Fuel. Um, I do this every month and I give um, $800 in prizes um, to eight people, $100 each. And of course, Wolfie and Cheers get paid $100 each every month for the work that they do with the Twitter summaries and with um uh, coming up with this uh, with this uh, leaderboard that um that they that they work on together uh, sorry that they don't work on together they work on separately but they both do work so it used to be 10 prizes but now it's um eight prizes so um, this month we have uh, number one in um, contributions is sneaky ninja with 35 shifrin with 12 um blue avm with 11 um jasper with 10 ramana with 10 um via with seven rocknet patches um, chaos mambosan and others kind of um filling that up so we had 37 i think 30 uh, four, 34 people contributing so they all got tickets so if you have a look in this document this is how they get tickets each person for each entry they get one ticket um so we have a total of 155 tickets um and what we do then is we go to random.org over here and you have the list randomizer. So I will copy and paste all these 155 tickets and take them to random.org. And yeah, as you can see here, there's Sneaky Ninja and then Shifrin, Blue AVM, Jasper, Ramana, Vaya. Um, I don't know why it's doing this with the ones. But let me just clear that line. And then we also have like, you know, Rocknet and others, um, Rocknet patches, Chaos, Mambosan, My Guy, Mage Style, Mig, uh, Rare Bunny, Habakris, Kent Philly, RPL Maxi and others. So now what I will do is I'll press the randomize button. And when I press randomize, then we will um, take the top um, eight people who will be getting $100 each and there's no repeat prizes. So um, it's one prize per person. So let's have a look. I'm going to press randomize now. Okay, I pressed it. So we have RPL Maxi, um, Shifrin, Not You, Hippocrates, then Sneaky, um, and then Ramana, um, Jasper, Mig, Patches, and I think 
um, Fuligini, but I'm not sure if that is going to be a repeat. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think uh, basically there's Alpil Maxi, Schifrin, Not You, um, Hippocrates, Sneaky, and then uh, Ramana, Jasper, and Mig. So those are the people who bring up the top eight. So they'll all be getting prizes of $100. I'll be reaching out to you all very soon to arrange that. Actually, let me just have a look at the price right now of RPL because we'll use that as a basis. So it's $23.58. Um, so if we do 100 divided by $23.58, we get... Um, so they'll be getting prize of 4.24 RPL each. So there'll be 10 people getting 2.4 um, RPL each. Um, so you can expect those uh, prizes to come to your, to come your way soon. Okay, on that note, I'm going to end today's episode. Thank you all for watching, listening, and being part of the Rocket Fuel community. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.